I've been, been impressed with Shaw this season. I think he's playing as that lone striker and that, that focal point. He holds the ball up really well. Uh, obviously, adding goals to that has, has been a very big one for him. He's, he's on eight now. But he's, he's other sides of his game, similar to Ongaro a little bit at Edmonton, where he's improving his game week in, week out, and getting better at that target, target striker role. And Here's an opportunity, and there is the first goal of the game in the seventh minute from number seven, David Schwanier. And Forge have jumped into the lead quickly as Schwanier jumps on the opportunity. Doing the uh, most of the pressing there. This ball for Acosta now has come across midfield, lays it back to Nunez. Nunez at the top of the box, turns it into his right foot, lays it off. There's a strike from Telfer, and I'm not sure if that deflected. Making a rare start for the Capital City Club. Nunez, Tevin Shaw. Gets it back to Nunez, across. Ball falls to Malcolm Shaw, and his right foot strike was just off the mark. Ryan Telfer is uh, the only Ottawa player on the field who is on three cautions, so he risks a suspension if he's booked today. But we haven't seen a caution shown from the referee at any point in this game yet. Here is Navarro with a shot, and Dylan Powley did well to stick a leg out at the near post. When they get them in 1v1 situations, they're causing them so many problems. Short corner, Tristan Borges with the cross. It's at the far post. Ashen Yodi Janssen had the chance. He's one of their center backs, You're not, and one of their more experienced players. You're not going to want to be taking him off. Oh, Borges gets to do it all over again, and there's the ball that goes across the line and into the net and it may go down as an own goal but it is a second tally for forge fc six minutes into the second half it's a great great delivery from tristan borges there i'm not sure what's going on with pauli complain i don't know what he's complaining about there he's his own man's trying to trying to mark uh dominic samuel there and Passes is just standing still. Jonathan Grant. Nanko. Awua. Passius. Good control, but lost possession. Drew Becky. Seaback wins the challenge. Brownie back to Passius. Infernenko, a shot, left-footed, Pauli makes the save. Yeah, just letting him know he's in a game. Come on, kuplin has got very, very good feet. Awuwa's just uh, got done by a bit of trickery. That's, it happens quite a lot. <laughs> For Hoven with the cross, it went to Brian Wright, who lays it off, and Telfer with a shot. Got to defend this now. And Telfer's corner was dealt with by Forge, but only as far as Kuplin, who goes back to McKendry. Wide to the right is Verhoeven, looking for the cross, quickly taken, held in play by Becky. Now from the other side, the cross, hit it on by Soto, and Tristan Henry makes another great save. Will be in the shout for, for player of the match. Kuplin, Verhoeven, who's been a much more aggressive offensive player in the second half, and that ball coming off him and plays it back. Top of the box, Telfer looking to shoot. Still Telfer, and it's a goal! But it's offside. Right at the 75-minute mark. Get that third and just close the book on the game, but overplaying a little bit and kind of wasting it. Brownie steals from Kuplan. Through to Passius, score! And there it is, the third goal for Forge. And it comes in the 80th minute.
And it's Rubens Passius, the goal scorer. There you go. There's the pass he should have made the last time. Now it's a great battle from him. Read the play well here. Kuplin gives the ball away. But great strength from Brown and great decision on the pass. And to be honest, tidy finish from, from Passius. He doesn't even have to take a touch. Just see where the keeper is. Little look, sees where the keeper's on his way out.